We've been on the receiving side of banking services for 17 years before we started Atlas Mara. Atlas Mara has completed the acquisition of ABC Holdings Limited trading as Bank ABC. Bank ABC will now trade as Bank ABC part of Atlas Mara. Atlas Mara was founded by former Barclays Bank CEO Bob Diamond and Ugandan billionaire entrepreneur Ashish Taka. The takeover is said to be the launchpad of Bank ABC becoming Sub-Sahara's premier financial institution. Atlas Mara Chief Executive Officer John Vitalo is excited with acquisition and the bank's revised vision and its relevance to the Zambian market. There are some things that we think we can bring um, to, to Zambia for the benefit of, of Zambia and Zam Zambia's economy and its people. You just uh, talked about volatility. One of the things that um, that, that presents is uh, a need for clients and it's an opportunity for us. And you can see that in some of the people we've recently hired. Uh, uh, for example, Mabuba Dion and Mike Christellis to really drive our treasury and our markets business to help customers um, manage the, those risks, foreign exchange risk, commodity price risks, and so forth. Atlas Mara co-founder Ashish Taka states that the bank will ensure it acts as a real business hub for all types of businesses, including SMEs. Traditionally, there's no real bank for business. And as Mara, We've been on the receiving side of banking services for 17 years before we started Atlas Mara. And we saw it that there was no focus on SMEs, on growing businesses, etc. The focus was really on the high end corporates. And that's why, as Bank ABC, part of Atlas Mara, our focus is we want to be a real bank for business. And as a part of that, the focus is young entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs, etc. And to John's point, when we met with His Excellency, we had a very good conversation about this. So, how do we create an ecosystem that will truly support entrepreneurship in the country? Bob Diamond says the bank will continue investing in Zambia. We are long-term bullish on Zambia. Uh, Zambia is not immune from some of the impact of the commodity cycle around the world here, particularly, of course, in, in copper prices. Uh, but over the medium term to long term, uh, we want to continue to invest in Zambia. So we're long-term bullish. Atlas Mara took the first step in building its brand presence in Africa when it unveiled the new Bank ABC logo on Thursday. The new logo will be introduced across the Bank ABC branch network in Botswana, Mozambique, Tanzania, Zambia and Zimbabwe with immediate effect. In less than a year we acquired four banks, were in seven countries, they were all closed and we soon announced a fifth, our second deal in Rwanda. So people understand the vision. They know we can acquire banks. They were wondering, do we know how to run them? Can this dream truly be true? It's going to take execution on the ground. And what people saw the first glimpses of today, thanks to you and thanks to our team, was how we execute and how we drive performance. And that ultimately is what's necessary and what's going to make a difference. Income up, profits up, deposits up, loans up. The credit process improved from front to end, lower NPLs, higher coverage of NPLs, more recoveries of past NPLs. We, as Bank ABC, part of Atlas Mara, we have the best of both worlds. We understand global and we understand local. But we want to be a positive, disruptive force. And you guys have seen it, and Zambia, again, like many other things, is our, is our Kickstarter for mobile banking which is just the beginning of so many things. Guys, we have, our continent only has 12% banking penetration, yet 80, 90% of our people have mobile phones. <coughs> mobile money was created on our continent. We are gonna transform that as Atlas Mara, and we're gonna create mobile banking and make sure financial inclusion rapidly increases across our continent, in Zambia specifically. The bank is aiming to be a top tier bank in every market where they operate and a partner of choice. Alexander Musogotone, Movie TV Business News in Lusaka. Yeah, yeah,